Hey, what's up everyone? Koban and Wiley456 here today. Going to be giving you my opinions on uh, my gameplay of the Sonic Lost World demo for the Nintendo Wii U. So, uh, as some of you all may know, a couple of days back I uh, went to uh, PAX Prime and got to try out a lot of uh, new games that are going to be coming out uh, later this holiday season. And one of them was Sonic Lost World. And here's my gameplay footage to where I'm going to be playing through uh, when the hill and uh, also desert ruins uh, act two so I got to basically with this gameplay I kind of got to get a feel of the controls and stuff like that I really wasn't trying you know to like be like super pro or whatever but I was just trying to you know get used to the controls see what exactly you know how exactly everything works and uh, I must say I am very very impressed with this game it is a lot of fun and uh, while it's not the fastest of uh, games for Sonic's, uh, you know, series, it is still very fun with uh, a lot of great platforming sections and, uh, you know, it's just a very, uh, very polished game. But uh, as you can see right here, I'm basically using the Wisps and a lot of people have complained before about how the Wisps are really, really hard in this game to use, but I can say right now that if you actually know what to do, it is really simple to execute. All you have to do is just aim with the uh, touch screen, so you just move your finger in the direction that you want to go, like tap in the direction that you want to go, and you just press the A button, then boom, you shoot your way. So the wisps are not as uh, confusing as, you know, a lot of people say they are, because I uh, heard many people say that, but actually getting it hands-on, it was very simple to use. See right here, look at this, this actually looks like in some areas it looks fast paced and all that stuff and you got all those lines all over but you know I can see why some people are like you know when you play this game compared to uh, like you know generations or whatever it feels like a step backwards in the speed department but you know this game I mean you have a lot of control I must say you have a lot more control than uh, you know the other Sonic games so my only problem though is that I believe because I, I I really believe it's because of the Wii U itself, because uh, the Wii U's analogs are very loose. They have no tension or anything like that. It's very it, it can sometimes feel like Sonic is loose, but really he is quite tight in this game, especially if you compare it to the 3DS version, which is just like handling a grease monkey all over the place. Like this game, it. It just he just really controls well. You feel like you have much more control with Sonic compared to other games, but uh, at the cost of speed. But still, if you uh, compare it to you know other games that were out before, you know Sonic had the boost abilities and stuff like that, it's really not that slow at all, and it still keeps you know a good sense of speed in areas. Especially as you can see right there, you can do spin dash, and uh, that can actually let you get through some areas pretty fast. Now right here. We're going to be going to a cloud section. Now these controls were really weird for me to get used to. Basically what you have to do is just time your A button press um, <clears throat> at the right time. Now, you know, normally this seems relatively easy to do, but with this, the controls and, you know, like ev everything was really floaty because, I mean, we're on clouds. But then not only that, because the Wii U's analogs, you know, they have no tension. They're very loose. I don't know if I'm the only one who's noticed this. If you all have noticed this in the comments below, let me know if you feel like, you know, the Wii U's analogs just feel a bit weird. But, you know, uh, that was the reason why. So, actually right there, I'm going to actually die a couple of times. So, pretty big surprise. And see, yeah, see right there? I mean, you know... It, it was a pretty interesting, you know, platforming section, but it was just like, I felt like, you know, I didn't have too much control. That Sonic was very floaty around this section because of that. It was very hard to judge exactly where I was going to go or if I still had too much momentum in uh, one direction. But besides that, you know, the cloud area and all that stuff, oh my god, see right there, I almost died. Um, you know, I did find, you know, this, uh, you know, stage very enjoyable very enjoyable to play and uh, right there we're gonna do a small bounce and here we go <laughs> one thing I can definitely say is even though I took a lot of time on Windy Hill just kinda exploring to kinda you know extend my gameplay time as you can only play one stage per you know time and then you have to go back in line um, I can say that uh, it was a uh, 
there were a lot of areas where you can actually explore. It's not something to where, you know, you just have one pathway. You can either go the fast way, or you can go on, you know, alternate pathways and, uh, you know, explore, do other things, and, uh, you know, it's really awesome. But there we go, that was uh, Windy Hill Zone 1 right there. So now, though, we're going to go on to Desert Ruins gameplay, and I actually have to find this. Now, this is where I also died as well a couple of times, actually like a few times, because, uh, okay, this stage right here, it actually plays very similar to uh, the mock speed sections in uh, the Sonic series, and uh, as you can see, I mean, they're auto, you, like you auto automatically move, you have no control of Sonic's uh, forward momentum, but you can move them side to side, and uh, you have to dodge and avoid obstacles that come uh, in your uh, path on this stage. But, um, like I said, you know, the controls are really good for this game, it's just that, like I said, I think I just need to get more used to the Wii U analog, because there haven't really been that many uh, Wii U games that really re require, you know, uh, there, there haven't been many, like, 3D platformers on the Wii U, so it's like, actually playing a 3D platformer on the Wii U with the analog stick, it's, it, it takes some getting used to, because like I said, if you compare the Wii U's analogs to any other system, the analogs are very, very loose, they, ha they don't have enough tension, so because of that, that's why I died, um, on some areas on this section, but it's just something I have to get used to. So, not really the game's fault, it's more the hardware, if anything, if it is, f like, any fault, but I'm not really complaining, I just feel that, you know, I'm just not, you know, I haven't adjusted to the Wii U's analogs, if that makes sense, especially for 3D games like this, but, see right there, look at that, just splat, and this, it almost works kind of like, uh, like I said, you know, Sonic 06 sections, to where, okay, well, you know, if you hit something, I mean, you get hurt, but uh, you don't just like, you know, stumble and then next thing you know, just kill yourself like that. But if you do run into anything, then, you know, that's it. You actually lose a life. So you do have to be careful about that. See right there, look at that. Fing it, it was like my fingers slipped right there. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm being such a derp right now. But I did like this stage. It was really awesome. I liked the, uh, you know, auto-fast homing attack right there. Where it just takes out all those enemies. Very showy. It looks really awesome. And see right there? Just, that was my first time actually playing it. So, like I said, don't expect the best gameplay from me right here. But, I'm very excited about this game. It should be really amazing. And, uh, looking forward to see what else they do with these, you know, extra stages like this. So, where you have the auto-running, you know, sequences. Because it was pretty impressive. Plus, it actually gave a really great sense of speed. That's one thing about this game. While it's not the fastest, when you, excuse me, I had a hiccup right there. When you actually play this game in person, you can see how smooth it actually runs. Because this is the first console, uh, I believe, first console HD Sonic game that actually runs at 60 frames very smoothly. I never did see a frame drop. Not a single time, so it was very smooth, very fluid, everything was great. But that about wraps it up for, uh, you know, my opinions on the Wii U version of the game. It was a lot of fun to play through. Uh, if you have tried it out or were at PAX East and got to play it, let me know in the comments below what you thought about uh, the demo, as uh, I did find it very enjoyable. And hopefully some people are like, oh my god, you're just making excuses about the controls and stuff like that. But you know, these are just my personal opinions. I would love to hear uh, from you all if you have actually been able to try out the demo as uh, it has been available at many places already so far. So, but it was just great to finally get my hands on it to kind of prepare myself as uh, I will be doing a Let's Play on this game on October 18th. But, yeah, there we go. So that's it. Thank you all again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Kobanamites.